Hey guys, welcome back to IO1. This is Steve here. Now I have to apologize. I haven't been able to create any new content in the last few months simply because there hasn't been any new products that have come my way. Well, this just dropped. This is the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, a flagship product from Xiaomi. Now it has so much information on this that I have to bring my iPad with me to remind me what to say. And well, I'm gonna be doing the unboxing today and hopefully you will enjoy it. You might not have heard of Xiaomi brand in North America, but they're pretty big in Asia and this phone packs some serious punch. You might remember that I did an unboxing of the Xiaomi 12 Pro and the Lite versions back in 2022 or 2023. And now Xiaomi has upped their game with the Xiaomi 14 lineup. Now, starting in July of 2022, Xiaomi actually partnered up with Leica, which is a very well-known camera and lens maker. They started developing the lens in the Xiaomi 12S followed by the 13 line as well as this 14 line. And all of their lens are now co-engineered with Leica in mind. The 14 Ultra is their flagship product which was released in February 25th of 2024. And let me tell you, this phone is definitely more camera than phone. Okay, so now as a disclaimer, uh, this product was actually lent to me by my family member uh, and it has been opened before, but I did put everything back in its packaging so that we can look at it as an unboxing video and see what you get when you open it up. So I'm going to cover first of all some of the key features of this product or I mean uh, this camera or whatever you want to call it uh, and first of all see what's inside the box followed by maybe some pictures uh, as a side-by-side -side comparison between my iPhone 13 Pro Max camera and this Xiaomi 14 Ultra. So some of the key features of the Leica or the Xiaomi 14 Ultra is that it has a built-in or is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, which is a four nanometer process. It has a standard AMOLED 6.73 inch screen that offers a pixel density of 522 PPI. The screen itself is protected by what's called Xiaomi Shield Glass technology, which I presume is something similar to the Corning Gorilla Glass. Uh, it can produce up to 3,000 nits of brightness, which is quite bright, and has a variable refresh rate between 1 and 120 hertz. The 14 Ultra starts at a height of 161.4 millimeters and a width of 75.3 millimeters and has a total weight of 219.8 grams. So I say it starts at the height of because you can have an attachment which actually increases the height of this device. Um, the most outstanding feature of this product is of course the Leica camera system and the phone actually comes with a camera kit which is right here not that one but this one here and it comes separately and optional um, and I'm going to be unboxing that as well in this video so stay tuned or you can skip to the appropriate timestamp to take a look at what's inside that box. Okay, so let's talk about this camera or the four cameras on this system. The main camera is a Sony LYT950 megapixel camera with an f-stop of 1.63 up to four and has an equivalent focal length of 23 millimeters. The sensor is a one inch sensor. Uh, the second camera is a 75 millimeter telephoto lens, which is also 50 megapixels and the f-stop is 1.8. Third camera is a 120 millimeter periscope camera, uh, which is used to capture very far objects. Uh, again, it's also 50 megapixels and has an f-stop of 2.5. The final camera is a 12 millimeter ultra wide camera, uh, and it has a f-stop of 1.8 and a viewing angle of 122 degrees. Now, don't forget that this guy also has a front facing camera, which is 32 megapixels. Um, it has an f-stop of two and a viewing angle of 90 degrees. So it comes in two colors this time, black and white, and this one is the black one. And the MSRP is a mind ble bleeding 1,699 Canadian dollars. You know what? It's actually similar to the iPhone Pro Max line. Um, and then if you wanna buy the 
uh, filter kit as well as the photography kit, which I believe is one set. It's about an two, additional $200 Canadian. Um, of course, I didn't get this as a deal. I didn't even buy this one. But uh, as a as a initial owner of this phone, this these two products actually came free with the phone. Uh, as I think it's an early adopter or an early pre-order. So a quick summary of some of the things I didn't get a chance to tell you about this phone. Um, on the display side is WQHD+, Plus, which has a resolution of 3200 by 1440. Uh, it's 12-bit color depth um, for its color system. And in terms of the video, which I believe is important, um, it can do a number of different formats. Well, it can do Dolby Vision mode in 4K at 60 frames per second. In HDR mode, it can do 4K at 30 frames per second. 8K, it can do it at 30 frames per second. And 4K, it can do it at 120 frames per second. Connectivity wise, it uses both the USB-C 3.2 Gen 2, which maxes out at 10 gigabits per second transfer and on the wireless side it connects through wi-fi 7 which is 5.8 gigabits per second which is very new technology what about the battery the battery is touted to last 14.7 14.5 hours it comes with a 50 or a 5000 milliamp battery and also it comes with a 90 watt hypercharger which allows you to charge this guy from 0 to 100 percent in 33 minutes and you can do it wirelessly as well at 80 watts wireless uh, which allows you to charge from 0 to 146 minutes which is both extremely fast security features is the same as before it has an ai face unlock and also a finger uh, uh, in-screen finger screen print uh, sensor. The operating system is the Hyper OS, which is an upgrade from the Mu UI. Um, so we'll take a look at that as well. Um, and of course, let's start the unboxing. So I'm going to put my iPad away. And let's take a look at the box. So the box itself is all black. It has the Xiaomi 14 Ultra name of the phone and in small letters, co-engineered with Leica. So that's the flagship product for the Xiaomi line. Um, and on the phone itself, not really much to say here. There's the information on the back of the phone, on the back of the box, which is a 16 gigabyte RAM and a storage of 512 gigabytes. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. So it comes, first of all, you have to pull this out. Okay, so we have this little outer shell, and then you have the box itself, which is identical to the one on the outside. Pop off the cap, and we are greeted with Design by Xiaomi. This is very similar to Design by Apple. Of course, you know, Xiaomi was criticized early on that it was a copycat of the Apple design. Uh, it's come a long way, I think. It's, they developed their own kind of style and also their own personality. Although some of the design elements, like the boxing, is very Apple-like. Uh, so again, you can open up this box and inside this box, we will have the SIM ejector tool and it comes with a screen protector, or sorry, not screen protector, a case and a instruction manual or a quick start guide on how to use the phone. So I'll leave this here. And this is what the case looks like. It's a black case. If you case you're wondering, the texture on this is a very kind of plastic rubber. And on the inside is just plastic. And the first thing you notice is there's a giant hole right in the back which is for the camera system. So I'm gonna put this over here and we're gonna take a look in the box. Okay, so in the box itself is your phone that sits nicely cradled in. And we're gonna pop that out. Uh oh, all right, so. Uh, on the phone itself, the front just gives you some of the uh, specs of the phone. It uses a Leica Sumilux optical lens and the rest of the information we've already talked about before. So I'm just going to put this right here on here and we'll talk about the phone in a bit. In the box, you have a little shell and you have the 90 watt hypercharger, which uses the uh, Asian uh, plug. 
So you do need to get a adapter for this for North America, but that's not too hard. Put that right there. And it comes with your USB-A to USB-C charging cable. Um, so I'm gonna put that right here as well. And that's all there is in the box, okay? So put that away. Let's take a look at the phone itself. So the phone itself comes wrapped up in this little wrapper, which is the same for every phone you get nowadays. Let's take a look. All right, so this phone is very premium feeling. The back is a soft leather, but I believe it's not actually leather, it's vegan leather. So I guess you could say it's pleather. Um, the screen itself is edge to edge, and on the top it has your front facing camera, and on the top you have a speaker, or it might be a mic. Um, on the side, on the right side, you have your volume toggle button and a power button. And on the bottom, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you have the USB-C, you have a speaker, and I believe on this side is your uh, SIM card tray. Okay, so um, the back itself is where the money shot is. This is the Leica camera system. It's a big two inch kind of, or maybe it's two inches, uh, but it has four lens inside. I'm not sure if you can see it from an angle. I'll bring it up close. So you can see here, there is four cameras in there. And it even looks like a digital camera. And after we add on the attachments, the photography kit, it even looks like a digital SLR. So here very subtly you see it says Xiaomi. Uh, and the phone itself is, you know, it's weighted heavy on the top but I think overall it's light enough that it is comfortable in the hands. So we're gonna turn it on. Uh, so you just press the power button here. So it boots up, it's me and it's powered by Android. And I'm gonna give it a few seconds for it to boot up. So here it says Xiaomi Hyper OS, and we're in already, so we're gonna unlock this. Okay. So it's kind of, uh, the screen is kind of dark right now actually. So let's turn up the brightness. So to be honest, I, I don't actually use the Android system. Uh, I, you know, I do use iOS, um, but this is the Hyper OS and it has features that are very similar to iOS, I have to say. So I don't know if that's the same in all the Android or if it's just the skin, but when you side swipe from the corner, you get your screen brightness, the volume, uh, any media, your Wi-Fi, and some quick shortcuts, which is, I think, almost identical to the iOS system now. Um, I did turn on the back flashlight, uh, so let's turn that off. Uh, and then here is the operating system. So uh, right now I'm actually using a guest mode account, so there's nothing much on this, but uh, I guess you swipe up and it has all the Google apps that you need, uh, it's very, very snappy, um, but there's not much else I can show you here. The camera system is probably what you would want to see, so let's turn on the camera, and that's what the camera looks like. So, right here. Okay. So, you have the uh, photo, the portrait mode, you can change the lens, uh, focal length, 50 millimeters, 75 millimeters, and so it's defaulted to 75 millimeters, I guess, to keep everything in focus. And then you can do your video. Um, so you can change to different types of settings. There's a lot of settings on this. And I think if you're interested in photography, this is a really good phone that you might be interested in. Um, okay, so let me turn this off now and put this right here. And I'm gonna show you now what's in the other boxes because we still need the phone to put it all together. So this is, of course, the photography the photography optional kit that comes with the 14 Ultra. Um, we're first gonna open up this one here. So it says the Xiaomi 14 Ultra photography kit. 
It's a pretty big box, um, but what it is for, you'll get to see in a second. So let's take it, open it. So opening it up gives you this little cardboard and basically it explains what this kit is for. So I'm gonna put this over here. Now, first of all, it comes with a nice case. Um, this case is, has the same kind of uh, leather texture, or rubber texture. It has the, a nice silver lens frame here, which you can actually take, remove. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. And right here is a little button. It's the eject button. Okay, so we're gonna put this onto the phone in a bit. In the box itself, we have a additional lens or additional uh, lens protector, I guess you can say. So this is the same as this silver one right here. You can just replace it depending on how you feel that day. And then here you have actually another one, which is slightly different. And this is a filter that you can add on top of your camera lens, um, which is basically allows you to put different filters on. And this is a 67 millimeter filter, okay? Um, in the box here, there's one more item here, which is the, uh, let me see what this is. So this here, oh, this is a lanyard cable. So you can pop it out and this is a lanyard cable and you can attach it to your phone so you can use it, you wrap it around your neck so that you don't lose it. So let's put that back in. And finally, this is the piece that you want to see. So this is the side handle of the camera kit. So if you look at it, what it looks like actually is the part where you hold onto a camera. It has the shutter button. It has the record button. And it has the little toggle here for zoom in, zoom out. And finally, it has also this dial here. I think that's for your focal length changing. Um, but what also it is, uh, is that this is actually a battery pack. It adds an additional 20 to 25% battery to your phone, um, but it's also very light, so that's great. On the side here, you might see it, there's a little switch, and that is to lock it in place once you've connected it into your phone. So let's see how everything comes together. Uh, let's put this to the side, and the filter, I'll open it up for you in a bit. So let's take the phone, and what we're gonna do is we're going to put this in, and I hate putting in cases because they always sound like something's gonna break. Uh, anyways, so let's put it in. I'm gonna put it in the other way. Okay, so we snapped it in. Uh, and now, as you can see, you have the lens here, <clears throat> this lens here, and we're gonna pop it off, okay? So we're gonna press the little eject button and then you're gonna rotate it and then pop it off. So like I mentioned, you can replace it to however you feel. If you look very closely, there's a little dot there. You line it up with the dot on the side of the camera. You just press the button, slide it in, and then it locks in and then that's it. So that's how you get the different lens on. Um, and then we're going to now put on the um, battery pack or the, the side handle. So this thing goes on the way um, it works is you look at the inside, there's a Xiaomi logo right here and make sure you put it on the same side. It actually connects to the USB-C port. So you put it like this and then you just slide it through and then it goes in and then you just kind of lock it in. Once you've done that, you can see that um, it says camera grip connected and it actually starts charging the phone as well. Um, so, let's turn on the phone. Okay. So I'm going to enter the camera system and as you can see, you can press the button and it can take some photos. Okay, so that's how you do it. And you would hold it like this. It's very nice, very nice. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you actually is um, how to replace this lens. So this is the part where the other kit comes into play. So let's put this down. 
and this is the filter. So it provides you with three filters. And I think if you are a photography person, then you would know what to do with these. I am not a photography person, so I do not know what to do with these, but this is what it comes in, a little pouch, and you open it up, it's magnetic, it's magnetic. You pull it up, and there are three lenses in there. First one is a purple lens, as you can see. And on the lens itself, it says it's an FLD filter. The next one here is a, another lens, and it says a UV filter. And finally, the last one is, it's quite a big lens actually, this one. So this one here is a CPL filter, okay? And what we're going to do is we're gonna try to attach these in. So let's use the, the, the last one, the big one. And like I mentioned, you wanna attach the filter into this case. So we're gonna remove this one first. So let's eject it, pop it off. Take this one here and find that little red dot right here. Pop it on. Okay, so it's locked in place. And then you take the actual filter and then you can just screw it on. Like that, see? And then there you go. So now you have the filter and the camera system on. Uh, and you can go bananas on it, however you like. All right, so let's unplug, put this part together. Let's take this apart. And let's put back the silver one. Okay. So like I mentioned, now the phone is a little bit bigger in terms of, and a little bit heavier as well. Okay, so let's put this back together. So that is the end of the video. Well, there's a lot of information about this phone um, that I probably haven't gone through, but I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of this video, um, this video unboxing, and hope you learned a little bit about the Xiaomi Ultra 14 line. Um, for those who love cameras, this might be a good phone <clears throat> camera for you um, to use. Uh, so think about it. In any case, I hope you liked it. Uh, stay tuned for some perspective views and maybe some comparison videos as well. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that button now. Hit the like button to help this channel out. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and take care.